pretty upset over this loss. <laughs> Line, the Rams 
take over their second possession of the day. Here's the stats for the game.
going to go to the shotgun formation. A little Dallas, maybe a quick kick. Nope, he's going back. He's got pressure. He's crushed after he threw it. It's incomplete. Incomplete, and the quarterback got crushed. Oh, Mills, <laughs> Hanson, <laughs> and Moreno all hit him at the same time. It'll be fourth down. So maybe if uh, Tim Reno does have a good game today, uh, the coach will insist that everyone fail their math test, and uh, this could lead to uh, quite an interesting phenomenon for high school football. What do you think, Joe? Yeah, I think he should, if he does that, he should give me an A, too, by 100%. And I'll take an A. Good snap. Mills in, but he couldn't get it. Decent punt. Bounces at the 50. First and ten for the Rams. They're 45. They've had two impressive drives. One was stopped by an interception. One into a 39-yard touchdown pass. Samaria Thomas. Samaria, an excellent candidate for all league this year. Deep again. Look like the same pattern. Thomas is gonna beat again. Incomplete off his hand. Number 24 recovered, made up the ground quickly, broke the play up. Almost connected on the same pattern that they scored the touchdown on. Good call there by the coaches because that play was open again. Second and ten for the Rams. Thomas the Slightly spearing call could have been called, but uh, it wasn't. Nice hole opened up by that Rams offensive line. Give him five yards. Oh uh, yeah, go five yards. Third and five. Forty-six seconds left. one of the best quarterbacks on this team. Uh, Considering he's starting, I think that'd be a fair assessment. Booker Moore is this quarterback. Give to Gedrin. Gedrin's got another nice hole. Pick up about five, and the offensive line is blowing some big holes in there. And that front line of... It's the end. And that's the end of the first quarter of play with the score. With the score.
about five or six now. Yes, they are up there in the highest in the state. Just quick pass. Elusiveness. I know. We'll get Miss Wilbanks okay, as a guest uh, five. star at halftime to ask her for vocabulary is correct. Uh, she was absent today. Oh, really? Sorry. Elusivity? Whatever. Pick a move. Call it four. Second and six of the round. Sure. 
playoffs. Just got the ruler on that. Just explained by. Oh, this has to be a bad map. You have to play it. Showing where where it went right, right in the old hands. Not 
for all that padding, I'm sure he would have picked that one off and sprinted into the end zone. No doubt in my mind. Second and ten. Eight brings him up. Booker's not in the game, if you guys hadn't noticed yet. No books in the game today. And off. He's got a hole. One man, he beat, oh, a nice drag down tackle there by Johnson. That helps from somebody else. Back to getting instructions from Mr. Wilson over there. It'll be third and five. He's asking them what uh, type of pizza he wanted after the game. There was a big controversy whether they were going to get pepperoni or a cheese pizza. They have Brett Gibbon in at the safety. Teams consistently uh, ever since that great game versus uh, Puke High School have run away from Tim Reno. It's a yeah, great are, defensive end. Uh, they don't really block him anymore. Kirk Elementary. Yeah, fourth and two in the Rams defense. You won't see him run on his side too many times. Yeah, this season. Up. One first down. I think Reno had a big part in this. Fourth and two. Handoff. He'll never make it. No chance. Bell on a host of Ram tackles. Stop him, and the Rams defense has just been outstanding all season. Steve Bell and Christophe Morris. Back to Morris, I heard. Outstanding Rams defense. They really do have a good defense. They hold again, and the offense has the ball in good field position. Players. I think that's a big uh, upper hand. Uh, teams get scared. 
something does go wrong, we will win in gang warfare. And, San, uh, San Jose walks in a straight line. I think that means a lot. To camouflage their numbers. Actually, they have 115 players over there. They just sort of bunch them up to camouflage their awesome strength. Looks like some illegal motion to me. Lob pass, incomplete. Number 82. Now that's how you complete a pass to Booker Moore on the sidelines. So. Cover it on the play, Vaughn, but the pass cannot be caught by Booker Moore. Is that Bird? Is possibly Bird. Booker Moore is truly one of the standing athletes in the CCS. He's in a few football magazines. And there they're off. And they're in the clubhouse turn. And the other one's going and coming around. And that's it. Young lady in first. Little red dog in third. One of these days I'll get my comment in about Booker, but don't worry about it. It'll be there. There's the kick. A low kick. It's going to take a bounce. Kenny Bell will field it at his 35. Cut down right there. No return. Looks like if Kenny could have got her on that, man, you would have a lot of AstroTurf to run through. But no cigar. 159 left in this half. Let's see if the Rams put together a drive here. So how do the players feel about this new $10,000 AstroTurf, Daryl? You've seen your talk to them before the game. They like the dirt part right there in the middle. Look at that, huh? And we have an uh, audio interview with uh, Tim Moreno about the AstroTurf. Oh, I like it. Uh, it's pretty good. AstroTurf. So. Yeah, back faking. Same play again. This time he's got...
anything about that play. <laughs> I was trying to overthrow it, Brian. Okay, back up to you, Daryl. Thank you, Brian. As the ref retrieves the football, the Rams will prepare to kick off 48 seconds left. The Rams have put on another sparkling performance here in the first half in their quest for their third straight league victory. It looks like it will come down to a showdown with Pioneer. As both teams are 2-1 and one coming into action. Last year, in the San Jose game at San Jose High, November 5th, 1981, the Rams won 13 to 12 on a snowy, blizzardy day. But anyways, back to the game today. Funny, no Mike Ciccone's had another good kick. Nice game today. 25. Safe to say he's down.
Hey Chuck, tell us about that uh, brand new 22 slot back uh, option left. Uh, what do you think of that play? Was Shavin or DJ? <laughs> They're going to go for the extra point, the kick is up, and it's good. And a stun Rams crowd sits here. They barely got back from the hot dog stand. And Chuck Matthews, known for a string of luck, comes up for the first half, first 20 seconds. Touchdown. How many are you trying for now? fans are yelling 12 men on the field. Personal foul. 12 men on the field, offsides, personal foul, holding, clipping, unsportsmanlike conduct. Offsetting penalty. Offsetting touchdown WG. Legal, too many men on the field for Sunday. They'll Off kick it over. Too many like, men on the field, they'll kick it over. Seems like Brett could break one here. Gosh, I feel it, don't you? Who would have bet he'd be sitting here today after that great motorcycle accident where he almost lost his eye, his leg, and his arm? <laughs> his arm's still in question, but we have faith. Modern technology and all that. Great. Now, they will kick off from the 25 yard line. Boy, that was a good penalty. Brett's got it. He's got a hole. He's following the red. Pushed down by his own man. Hey. That's a depth. How many yards are starting there? To the 45. Thank you. First half stats. <laughs> Will Savarillo was 10 for 16 for 170 yards. Two touchdowns. Thomas. Four receptions, a definite 84 yards on that on those four receptions. We're missing a play. I'm missing a play. Brett's gonna gain about nine. Add nine more yards to Brett's total. That'll give him. Calculator. Yeah. 87 yards on the day. We're talking great two calculating staff here. Yeah, they take off his shoes for that one. Good work. Give the credit again. He allows for the first down to pull four. That offensive line opened a nice hole on the first play of this drive. Open up a big enough crack on that one. Of course. What were you saying? I was going to say, of course, uh, Chuck Matthews, that great motorcycle accident. Uh, hey, Chuck, you got a Kawasaki 1000. You want to buy it? Just joking. <laughs> Just fine. Okay, hey, back coach. to you, Brian. A great run. I guess the flag was picked up. There was a flag on San Jose. Injured player. A great run by Dave Johnson. Dave threw an excellent block to give him about an extra 20 or 30 yards. He spread it from the 34 down to 
to the floor. He's just trying to dust off his player. The inside dope that he saw. Here's a, here's a classic close-up of uh, San Jose player's butt. While he gets his great view, that was a great ball. That play really worked. Kind of reminds you of uh, Mount Almaden, doesn't it? Yes, sir. <laughs> we don't want to give away any inside dope. So we have a 22 tackle trap that was called on that one. It was oh, a great play. A huge side now, boys. Huge hole over the left side of the Rams line. That's a play we haven't seen for a while. And it produced 30 yards for Dave Johnson. He moves this total 85 yards total offense. 55 on two receptions and a touchdown. We haven't seen that since Bill Wright played. Such language as ooh, grunt, and score. San Jose. 
Jose. Tempered by San Jose. Tempered, tempered, not tempered. He went up in the clear. The San Jose guys don't even try to attack him. He picked up a good 15 on that one. From about 25. I was expecting a little more. Down 
it at around the 12 yard line of South Bay. Casket corner there. into the locker room. <laughs> the voting will be tabulated late in December and he will get that cruise late in December on a rainy day. Back to the game. Chuck Matthews I heard is highly in the running for this. So you see him on Great blocking. He's coming up. He's in trouble now. Swings it out. Nice one hand to grab Kostaki after the swings. Kostaki Kenny Bell. Big of a hit up. A stellar defensive effort. Stellar? Stellar. That's a new one. Stellar. Three points for Matthews from Stellar. 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 S-T-U. The meaning of Stellar? Ask Gladys Wood, yes. She's stellar. stellar. Gladys Wood. She's a big factor in my life. I love her like a pet. Of course, that great Gladys Wood story. <laughs> this looks like a uh, pitch out. Hurdle, Hurdle there. Oh, Hanson. 
Anson. He came What's from his nickname? Hammerhead. Hammerhead Anson. Because he hits very I've yet, to, I've yet to hear that man talk. Man of not too many words we hear. It'll be second and three. This is a pretty nice drive by Soundfit. We have predictions of a fumble here in the near future. Pretty much gone to sleep, so we can give you. Right off on the chase. Forrest, you look no. like it could be a whole big family. Erdog giving chase. Vaughn. 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 Vaughn's, Vaughn's got him by the shirt. Bring him down. But that's that's him first uh, down. Holding. They Number 75. The Ovens. Ovens. And that will negate that first down run. Here's some stats. Eight. About what you read last week. No new stats to report. Stats update. I agree.
years to go to the CCS playoffs against Pioneer. It hasn't been that long. It's been 15 years. The 1967 Rams went 9 0 and were Mount Hamilton champions. They didn't have CCS at that time. This will be the first team in Milton history to go to CCS playoffs. Yeah, I heard all this from Tim Bruno on the way to school, huh? It's quite a buff on Wilbur Rams. Open field. 